Hi, welcome to our 121. On the last episode, we finished the Mallow March, and we're gonna go look at it. We we're also told to head back to Kakariko Village, so we'll do that afterwards. Unfortunately, due to a ahem, slight, very, very slight blunder, I'm down a few hundred bucks. So I'm gonna kind of replenish my money a bit. Because that seems like the responsible thing to do at a time like this. Oh, come on. Open the door or else I'm gonna start beating my head against it. Which, as you know, I am very willing to do. Beating my head against doors. It's kind of a thing that I like to do. Hi. Yes, I brought bugs. Here we go. Have a slug. Can't tell if it's a girl or a boy. You will not take a bath in that. Yeah. But I will take a bath in your $100. Yes, I got one. Another bug. Found a dragonfly. Here, have it. And another hundred bucks. Thirteen more bugs. But we'll worry about that later. Near the more end part of the game, we'll make sure to definitely get them all in our view where all the bug spots are. But for right now, we're just grabbing them as we see them. Alright, next we're gonna go to the center, and we're gonna look at this fancy store that Mallow made for us. <laughs> welcome, welcome! The hero of Discounts Malamart will be a legend in Castletown. Come on in, welcome, take a look at our, wear look at our wares. Alright, I'm gonna warn you guys. Wait, soul? No, no need. Alright, I'm gonna warn you guys right now. This is gonna be a nightmare. Okay, so if you need to leave the room for a little bit, I understand. Okay, here we go. We can do this. We can do this. Oh my goodness. This is by far the most terrifying thing I've ever seen. Wait, is that a little Stalin statue? Oh my goodness, Mala has her own sta his own statue. And pictures everywhere. This is disgusting. Buy one, get one. If you want one, then get one. Um... I'll take it one, I'll take one. I don't even really want one, but I'll take one by gosh. This is terrifying. This is very terrifying. You used to be a gentleman, now you're scary. 20% off, 30% off, of course, why not? We look out for you. The hero of discounts, that is us, Malamart. You're not gonna make very much profit. Alright, here, you can get things ridiculously, and I mean ridiculously. Ridiculously cheap. Like, hardly even trying. But right here is the magic armor. We don't have the money for it, so now so we're not going to get it, but later on we will. And I'll explain more about that. Basically some of the coolest armor in the game, considering you only get three sets. Alright, so that was mortifying. For those of you who have left the room, you can come back now. It's all okay. We have left Malamart, the scourge of all humanity. It's all okay. Now we need to teleport out. Kitties, kitties everywhere. Kitties, want to see a magic trick? I'm pretty good with magic tricks. The kitties all had a dejected look on their face right there. <laughs> okay, let's head to the sanctuary. Right there. Alright, so Ilya's memory is back. 
Right? Whoa! Hi there. Darvis happened to hear that an acquaintance of one of our brothers had lost her memory and was in some trouble. Me? I came down here because I have a little something to discuss with the shaman. Do you feel any better, Darvis? Who are you, little human? The young lady's acquaintance? I'm the guy that beat your head. Never mind. No, I don't want to talk to you. Ah, I've been waiting for you, Link. Fortuna smiled upon us. If things go well, we should be able to help Ilya recover her memory. Do you know Talma's friend, Shad? Well, it seems he's researching the heavens, and he has come here to see the statue in the basement of the sanctuary. And as I've learned, when Ilya was saved, she overheard someone talk about the rod of the heavens, or something like that. The Gorn Elder believes that to help re her regain her memories, we must piece together the fragments of her past. Which means, if we work our way backward from the very place where she lost her memory, we may find something that will restore it. Now we must retrace Ilya's path. I'm certain it was Telma who carried for her before she arrived in this village, was it not? It would be best to speak with her first. Please take this to Telma. Renata's letter. It carefully details how to treat Ilya to get her memory back. It changes to say, but to be honest, I cannot abide Telma's company. We have a fine chance, Link. Hi, Ilya. I remember being saved from a dangerous situation by someone, someone who told me all about the rod of the heavens. But now I can't remember the who, why, where, or what it all means. Do you really think I'll recover my memory? I regret that a complete stranger like yourself got caught up in all this because of me. I'm so sorry. You're such a nice lady. Let's go take the letter to uh, Chitalma. I want to go talk to Shad in the basement, but maybe there will be a side quest that we'll be able to do. Maybe. Okay, warp. Whatever you do, do not look out the window. It will scare you. Like, no one leave the gate closed. Why are there no guards? Ah. These people are worthless. No wonder you're taken over by Zant. There's some idiot like me can run over and save the day. I'm fairly certain someone here can. And I'm a kind of a big idiot. Crowd, crowd. Open. Tell me. Tell me. How's that Ilya doing? I'm sure Chan will find a way to get her memory back. That Renato is a town spirit for sure. Anyway, honey, you've got your own things to worry about, so you, you just make sure you do what needs to do right now, okay? You unsure about what you ought to do? Honey, well, uh, well, why don't you show your face to Kakariko Village? Our friend Shad happens to be there right now, looking into this net. Um, yeah. Have a letter. No effect. What? I'm looking right at her. Well, if it isn't from Renata, all this writing doesn't bother to mention a thing about little old me. Honey, what is that I call rude? You're obviously desperate. Well, there's no accounting for the foolishness of a man. At least I understand Ilya's situation now. Of course I can lend a hand for that adorable little girl. Who else do I know? The first one to bring Ilya to this shop was that doctor. Maybe you know something, but he's a crusty old bat, that's for sure. I've got it, honey. You go ahead and take this to him. This magical little paper will get that codger talking. It has one word on it. Wait, what? Invoice for the town's doctor running tab, which is an astronomical sum. It would sure, it sure would be nice if she started remembering things soon, eh, Link? Alright, let's go first look at the map. Oh, that's it. Yeah, I'll, I'll go check on him. Right, that'll be something that we'll do next episode. Well, actually, first let's go talk to the doctor. See you then!